Hi everyone. So in this video, I'm going to show you different features of Padlet. Now I have made two other videos regarding Padlet. So one, how to embed it into Canvas. So if you want to know how to do that, you can watch that video. It's in my channel. And the other one is a tutorial for students showing them how to post onto Padlet. So if you need uh, that to share with your kiddos, you're absolutely free to use it. In this video, I'm just going to show you the different features in Padlet. So Padlet isn't free, but they do give you three free ones. So a way to go around so you don't have to purchase one is that you can just clear it out and reuse the Padlets in different occasions. The only downside is that you don't get to keep the student's resu uh, results forever. So to make one, there's different templates that you can use. So timeline, wall, uh, you can connect things. They can look like a uh, stream, grid, and different things like that. So we're going to look at the wall feature. This is the one that I've been using mostly. So it will take you here. So this is where you will write the title. This is where you would write the directions and you can include an icon. So I've been um, downloading my own picture, my own Bitmojis, but there's some emojis that are in here. So let's just pick that one and it will go right here. Let's go back. So. You can change the wallpaper. So there's solid colors, gradients, textures. I usually like the textures or the picture, depending on what the assignment is. And you can add your own as well. Um, so to display the author's name above each post. So this means that the students will have to create an account and their student name will come up. So you don't have to worry about any posts without any names. Here you can allow comments or not allow comments. So in the assignment I'm going to show you, I did not allow them to write comments, but you can do that. So I did one today where the students had to do, it was the two truths and one lie. And the comment, they just had to write which one they thought it was a lie. So it worked really well. The kids loved it. So reactions. This one's really cool, especially when we're doing a discussion. So you can do upvote or downvote, which means agree or disagree. They can like, give stars, so rating each other. So there's different things that you can do on here. One of my favorites is um, if they, they require approval. So it won't show in the main Padlet unless you approve it. And my ultimate favorite, it filters out profanity. So I always want to do this one. And you hit next. And it's pretty much done. Start posting. You can copy the Padlet so you can have one for a different one for each class. And you can also share it with friends. So here is where you would get the embed code. Now, one thing that's important is changing the privacy. So right now it's set up to where visitors can write um, or you can have it where they can only read or edit. So for the students, for them to post, you want to have the setting where they can only write and you are done. So now I'm going to show you one that has been completed by the students. So on the first day of school, I asked them that they didn't have to write their name, but to upload a GIF of their of their current mood so right here i have my the title describe with an emoji how your first day of school is going and when they post so over here is my post button they can upload a file so a file that they have they can pick their own file from their own desktop um, the one for today i asked them to upload their picture so they can upload a picture or take a picture using the camera and they can do this with their Chromebook and they can take a snapshot of anything. So it's a good way where they can, if you have them draw something, they can easily take a picture of it on whatever device they're in and submit it on here and you get it. And they can also do Google search. So right here, that's what they did. They search for GIFs, but they can also add audio and video so it can be used for projects and things like that. And so here are just different things that they can do. Draw, screen, voiceover, film, snap, and all of that. So these are the features of Padlet. Now when you embed it, I'm going to show you what that looks like. So here on this one, for this one, it was the two truths and one lie, which is the one that I did today. 
right here I embedded the video and that shows them how to do it. So in case there were students that um, were not in my class to see me physically showing them how to do it. And right here it automatically populates. So I actually gave them the link for it and they didn't do it directly in the module, but they can. So to share the link with them, what I do is I go here, share, copy to a clipboard, and then I just paste it into the chat box of the Google Meet so it's easy accessible versus um, going into the Canvas. Well, that is it. I hope this video was helpful. And if you need anything, don't forget, you can always reach out. And thank you for watching.